what's going on everyone thank you so much for watching today welcome back to tali zoo in today's episode we are going to get started on a new enclosure and last episode if you missed it we did kind of finish off this area and a little bit in the jaguar and the clouded leopard and and the caimans i believe why does it feel like it was so incredibly long ago that i recorded a tali zoo episode I don't know. I feel like it's been <laughs> it's been like a month and I'm struggling to to uh, remember where we were at. But we have these cute little aardvarks here that we kind of finished up their habitat and I feel comfortable kind of sort of saying like we're good on this section of the zoo. Obviously, we still have a little bit more over here with the okapis uh, and the pygmy hippos, but <gasps> oh babies, we didn't miss it. Look at that guy's <gasps> Oh my gosh. Weak wait! Don't run away! Look at what we got! What do I am recording, right? Okay, great, because this <laughs> this would be the kind of thing where we would catch this on camera and I for some reason wouldn't be recording. But I'm recording. Look at our baby Jaguar! We got a black Jaguar! Look at the little spots! What a way to start an episode. Okay, well, that was completely unplanned. I uh, I had no idea that was going to happen. And look, it even has a bronze medal. Wow. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. All right, well, <laughs> uh, on to what we actually had planned for today's episode. So we still obviously have to finish up a little bit over here, um, but I wanna work on getting something figured out for the, um, uh, what did we say we were gonna do? We were gonna do African elephants and then Indian and white rhinos, correct? I think that's what we said. Yes, I want to do the other half and uh, plan out another side here for African elephants around the back. Um, so that's what I want to do today. And actually, while we get started, today is probably not going to have a time lapse uh, because to be completely honest, I don't have a whole lot of time to get that done. I'm actually sitting in my office here uh, as it is at what time is it 9 30 at night on Thursday night before this episode goes live I'm gonna go ahead and move these uh, so that we can kind of get them out of the way here I want to be able to put the uh, the African elephant habitat uh, down over there, but kind of keep these far enough away from the guests. Anyway, I am recording this particularly late uh, on Thursday night before this episode typically goes live, and um, I probably don't have time to do a time lapse, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to duplicate this, so I'm going to go ahead and put it, it next to there, and then we're also going to get another one and put it over here because it won't reach that that water from way over there. I got caught up playing uh, The Sims 4, which uh, if you haven't checked the channel already, is going to come out uh, right after this one. I guess you couldn't really check the channel because it's gonna come out after this video. <laughs> so if you're watching this live when it just comes out uh, in about an hour from when this one goes live, so this will be live at 8 a.m. and the Sims video will be live at 9 a.m. Uh, you can go ahead and catch the very first build that I did with the new Cottage Living Pack. I really hope that everything that I'm saying is making sense because I very infrequently actually try to have a full conversation while thinking thinking and planning out <laughs> builds at the same time. This is atrocious, but we'll fix that later. Uh, so apologies if it seems a little bit scattered. Um, let's go ahead, I'm just gonna duplicate this over. I'm gonna make it real easy on myself and we're gonna make it a fairly similar habitat in the sense of I kinda want it framed by rocks and uh, it's gonna share this building cause this would be the, um, the entire indoor like elephant building that they're gonna share. And I don't actually know how much room African elephants need. Why is that part of the group? Look at how bad I am at making uh, build groups. This is, this is chaos over here. I'm going to try to keep an eye on the notifications as well because uh, I have the game unpaused, so it's going to keep going. 
Um, but anyway, that's why there's not going to be a time lapse uh, today. We're just going to do some in-person building. So hope you guys are okay with that. I do get quite a few comments from you guys saying that you do enjoy the occasional in-person builds. So that is going to be uh, hopefully for you guys today. Um, I have had a very crazy week again. And again, I feel like a complete broken record. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons, by the way. I know you guys can't really see it, uh, but I'm hitting the bracket bars to turn things because that's the controls uh, for Sims and uh, and not Planet Zoo. But we'll get there. By the time I'm done with this episode, I'll be I'll be a pro again. Um, anyway, it's been incredibly hot uh, at my house recently, and so I'm sitting here. Like I said, it's like 9:30 at night, um, but it's like it's like 80 degrees. It's miserable in my office. So I am gonna try to get this episode done uh, before I melt, because <laughs> I want to make sure that you know I don't die of heat stroke in the middle of uh in, in the middle of recording because I do have all the fans turned off I generally turn everything off while I'm recording because it makes too, way too much background noise uh during the recording and I'm I I don't know I feel like it's uh, maybe not incorrect to call myself an audio snob, I guess. And if, if you guys think my audio sounds terrible, this is going to make me sound real stupid. But I cannot stand listening to videos that don't have decent audio. Like if there's crackling or like static or their voice is too quiet or something like that. I just, it bothers me and I lose focus right away, almost instantaneously. I just kind of lose all interest in whatever the video is. So I try really hard to keep things like quiet and so it sounds nice. I mean, obviously you guys hear my dogs every once in a while, but there's not, uh, I'm not gonna uh, do much about that because you know, they're my dogs and they're they're having fun hanging out with me. Actually, I only have Koa uh, with me today and he is uh, a very good boy. Oh no, we have a Babarusa that died. Go ahead and call the vet. And then what is going on over here? I just, did somebody grow up? I guarantee somebody grew up. Mm, yeah, Ye no. Are you just fighting for alpha status to fight for alpha status? Cause we should only have the three in here, right? One, two, three, and a baby. All right, well, I'm gonna deem you guys as fine because if we check, let me click on you. If we check their Zoopedia, I'm pretty sure these guys can have... Yeah, they can have two females. That's why I kept them that way. Okay, they're just being dramatic. We're going to leave them over there. Um, anyway, uh, so so I'm not going to uh, quiet down my doggos, but I am going to do everything that I can to uh, make the audio sound somewhat nice for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to suffer. So just, just remember that when you're watching this. Uh, I'm suffering for your benefit. <laughs> That's also really dramatic. <laughs> I'm not actually uh, that dramatic, I promise. Uh, so we are going to build a little pool here again for the African elephants. Um, but I want to build this down first because I want the path to kind of hang over much like over in that one. So we can always make that look a little bit prettier next time, but we cannot put the path down uh, with water and you know it gets all angry and whatnot so we're gonna do it this way so we don't have to deal with any of that I'm okay with a little slight step up and I think what we might do actually is we might come out here and I might just make like a circle instead of yeah we'll make a circle here yep circle and then we'll kind of branch it off this way and then kind of meet back nope not meet back yet please meet back like that and we'll have it scoop around and we can do a really pretty um like center kind of area right here i think that could look quite nice because i try to keep everything in loops right so we want to make sure uh that the the guests can kind of always walk around in in a looped fashion and then what we can do is we can actually probably just take this here and duplicate this and bring it on this side because i kind of don't want them viewing in that area. Um, I want them only to be viewing over here, I think. It won't be like our Indian elephant uh, enclosure where they have like a couple different viewing areas. This one will keep will keep just right there. And I think that looks that looks pretty nice. I know I'm gonna have to delete some over here because they're in the way. 
let's scoot this back a little bit there. Oh, look at this little baby. We're going to get distracted for a second. Look. Wait, let's get out of all these menus so you can actually see the baby. Look at their eyelashes. They're so cute. Do you see the eyelashes? On oh, <laughs> she's going to sit down. How adorable. Ah, oh, this is the episode of babies, I tell ya. Black, uh, black jaguar, adorable little baby elephant. Can't wait till we get uh, African baby elephants. Are you even a boy or a girl? A girl, I got it right. Little girl, gonna take a nap. How sweet. Okay, anyway, I get too distracted. I think the animals in this game are so well done. Um, and I absolutely love, love looking at them. Let's go ahead and move this and we'll start to make our little backdrop on here because like I said I do want to do very similar to what we have in the Indian elephant enclosure in that uh, you know we're gonna make sure that all of the foliage or most of the foliage that we put in there is you know quote unquote protected uh, so that the African elephants in theory wouldn't destroy it I know they probably uh, probably could reach, like I mentioned when we did the Indian elephant habitat, in that uh, I didn't make it out of reach of like their trunks, and they have a lot of dexterity when it comes to uh, using their their trunks, and they probably for sure would just grab it, but we're gonna pretend that they don't do that. We'll kind of put this little door, yeah, we'll put that door there, that'll be good. And so then hopefully, ooh, look at that, I almost lined it up perfectly. Um, I don't remember. Oh, I did use that. Okay, so we'll bring this over. We'll probably have to shrink the grid a little bit. I almost said smallen. Smallen is not a word. <laughs> Shorten or shrink is the word I was looking for. Uh, that door, so it looks like it is accurate. And we'll kind of slide this over so it looks like it's open. Beautiful, perfect. And it looks all ugly in there. Maybe I will. Darn it, am I going to have to do an interior... I really, really don't want to. I really don't want to do an interior, but I might have to do something because that's going to bother me looking in there like that. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Not excited about that. Okay, how about, uh, this is a habitat now, so in order to have it be functional, let's go to our work zones. And let me remember, we do have an Indian elephant zone. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, going to rename this as, um, why is that in multiple? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to re, name this one just Indian or just just Indian zone just elephant zone because this will be the African elephants and the Indian elephants so hopefully that should make sure it's working low welfare oh no You're stressed huh yeah God. your entire enclosure is one-way glass I don't know how else to help you we have those security things here look I'll show you and prove you because some of you guys do oh <laughs> well, okay. I uh, was gonna say, look, I'll show you and I'll prove to you. We have those security signs over there and then we don't. So I lied and we're gonna fix that right now. I got all, oh, did you hear how confident I was in that too? I was like ready to tell you guys what's what and, uh, and I was wrong. I was totally wrong. So we're going to sink a couple of these over here. Now, if we go to the heat map, there we go. You guys should hush, 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 because you are scaring my baby jaguars. But everything is one way glass. So they should not be able to see the guests. Let's see. What's your stress level like? Not the tree. I want the jaguar. Yeah, you are totally fine. Where did our baby go? There you are, he's so cute, little boy. We need a good name for him. Let me know what you think down below. See, okay, now stress is fine, so maybe you were just too close, but let me know, what do you think we should name him? Because he's so special. Uh-oh, low welfare for you guys. Space, these guys have been glitching out too, by the way, um, like this water and stuff, and I've been moving them, uh, and it's been fixing itself, so I'm not quite sure what's up with that. It's like they go into the water, see, and then all of a sudden they just like forget that it exists. It's quite bizarre, so ugh, quite annoying too. Sex ratio, see, okay, now did one of them grow up? 
Why are you guys fighting? And in front of the child. No fighting, especially in front of the child. Goodness gracious. Oh, you guys are both males. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So that's the alpha. You, you grew up. This is the problem. Okay, let's see. Jeans on you. Eh, not the best. Not a rating. Okay. To the wild. Goodbye. All right. No more fighting in front of the kid. We want him to grow up to be a happy hippo. Not, not traumatized because his dad and his brother are killing each other. Anyway, back to our Indian elephant here. Uh, African elephant, sorry, I'm gonna do that over and over again. Watch, I guarantee I'm gonna call him the wrong thing. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because I don't believe, should we actually take a look so I just don't have to guess? That should probably be the uh, responsible thing to do, right? Is to, to look things up so that I don't just have to guess and, and try to figure out what's right. Um, okay, so three to 15, that's great. Uh, and they don't, they need a little bit of water, so not much, which is great. They do need quite a bit of space though, so let's double check uh, and see how big this enclosure is. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, plenty of space, perfect. Okay, so that's plenty of space for our African elephants. And then, what did I say, a group of two to five? Excuse me, three to 15, not even close. Okay, three to 15, one male and 14 females. So what we want to get is uh, refresh list, reset all, reset all? You're not going to work? Reset, I don't want that. I want African elephants. And this time we are not going to filter for only male because I did miss that in the last episode. It's all coming back to me now, man. Really? On the one, and there's only one page, I can't go further. On the what? <laughs> uh, fussy. I'm, I'm angry about this. We don't have enough conservation credits. <laughs> okay, well, let's just hope. We'll keep checking back and we'll see if one of them doesn't pop up for actual money that we can spend. But like, look at this. We don't even need high tiered elephants. I just need, I just need an average elephant. I'd even be okay with a below average elephant. I just need an elephant, a, a breathing, alive, healthy elephant. That's all I ask for. Is that too much? It's probably too much. Well, let's just double check while we're at it. Uh, desert, grassland, Africa. So let's go desert, grassland, Africa. Do, 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 desert, grassland, continent, Africa. All right. Oh, cool. They actually do like these things. That's great. Let's pick trees first. I like to put in like the big, the big full. Oh, that's not going to look big compared to an elephant. That's a little better. Ooh, can we use idea? Big brain idea. It's not really a big brain idea. It's just me remembering that we had an Africa pack come out and that we probably have some pretty cool foliage. Oh man, do they not like the uh, the new palm tree? Not, not this palm tree. This is not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the new man. Oh, they do. Okay, great. It's right here because I like this palm tree. Um, let's see, I like this one. So if we're viewing from this angle here, Maybe we add something like this over here, like that. I still want it to be somewhat tropical, right? I don't want to go completely, completely in the opposite direction and make it so it doesn't look like it blends in with the zoo, but I do want it to look a little bit like it belongs to an elephant, right? So what we'll do is we'll put a border around those. In fact, actually, let me scoot these back a little bit closer so that we can kind of surround this with like a foliage, um, what are they called? Planter, right? A planter uh, would be good. And let's see, actually, I put the path down and I totally forgot. <sighs> Goodness, this is what I get for trying to talk and build at the same time. <sighs> I even while I was talking, while I was talking, I was telling you guys why I was doing it a certain way so that I didn't do this. And then I went ahead and did this. My goodness. Okay, so that's that's a good amount of water. Now we can bring our path back. Let's go ahead and redo what we did and hopefully I can do it, uh, do it correctly. 
in the way that we had it before. Let's actually start from over here because that's probably better. That's good. That's not far enough away. So one thing is the, the path and the water, the fact that they don't have a good relationship, really kind of a bummer. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this to work. Bring it far away. Why won't you connect now? This is really, really a bummer. Maybe we do have to start from over here. Up like this. Can you connect? It would be awesome. There we go. Nice. And we'll pull this out so that it kind of ramps down. I don't like that curve. Let's do this kind of thing. That doesn't look too bad. It's a bit steeper than I wanted it to be, but that's what I get for making the mistake. Oh, hey, look, we even got rid of the center part on that one. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll bring this out and we'll get this to connect. And then, is it really going to be that big of a pain? Goodness. You would think, there we go. You would think it would connect because that's how it was previously. I wish I wouldn't have forgotten whole big pain, pain in the butt. And I want this to connect a little better. Mm, yeah, like that is nice. So then it's like a little, little kind of sticky outy part. It's the official term for it. Let's see if we can't get this to fix a little bit better. Hope you guys like pathing struggles. <laughs> Cause that's what you guys are getting today. Ooh, that actually looks kind of cool. And then can we, can we get it to cooperate like so would be kind of fantastic. Oh, come on. You had a connection. There we go. Right like that. Does that look too weird? I mean, I kind of like the height to it, right? It gives it a little bit of interest, a little bit of difference. It's not all flat. I think we can make that work. I'm going to leave it for now and, and see what we can do with that. Let's go ahead and rotate this over and make sure that it's not clipping way through because uh, we don't want the guests walking through rocks. Although that is a feature that I have long wanted in the game, right? Is the um, like, well, null pathing. <gasps> look, look, look. Okay, do not dilly dally. We want that one. We want this one. We want, oh, we can't afford that one, but it's okay. We have a male and a female. Fantastic. Fanta, wait, what? What are we filtering? Oh, okay, gosh. For a second, I uh, I thought it didn't work. Okay, send to the zoo. Let's go ahead and send them over to our quarant- We should probably get another quarantine, yeah? So that we don't have to, like, go to this really far away one every single time. Ooh, don't put them in the aardvark habitat. Did you- s It, like, clipped to the aardvark habitat really quick. Uh, little guys that get squished. That would not be good. That would not be good zoo management. Okay, so those guys are off to there. Now, in terms of shelter, I think I'm actually okay maybe duplicating this one over here and having their shelter area be on this side, I think. Let me see how high is this one. Let's bring it down the same height here and bring it onto this side because I think that's going to make a good a good view if we kind of back that up in the corner over there and then we can do the same similar thing with all these rocks and the enrichment and stuff like that um let's see can i just duplicate all of these would be fantastic wow we got some dirty elephants over here dirty muddy elephants can i get the leaf one please i want the fern one there we go i want the fern one put this over here so they have a nice comfy place to sleep would be great okay um hopefully they go through quarantine quite fast what kind of let's bring one of these uh wimba trees over here because i haven't used those in a while uh around the zoo and i'm thinking it could probably do uh for a good backdrop tree let's make sure it's not in the path here and see how that looks I think that looks great. Maybe a little higher. Maybe so I can see more of the trunk there. That's good. Awesome. I like that that kind of tree line right there. I actually really like these mixed in in the uh, in the tropical environment. That looks fantastic. I wonder. Oh, I made this all like individual, huh? I was gonna say. I wonder what are the chances we can get this platform to look somewhat 
decent over there, but we'll kind of start with it, right? And see, maybe, no, we want all those selected. Plus and duplicate. Let's see if we can get this to somewhat work. I'll be very surprised if we can, but let's, let's just, let's just experiment. We're going to bring it down just to the, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Look at that. We can probably even take away this part right here on this one because that and the other piece on the other side for our Indian elephants was only put in place because uh, the terrain was too high. But on this one, it's not a problem. So we can just kind of finish it off this way into the wall and it's going to look fantastic. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be such a pain. I thought I was going to try this. It was not going to work at all. But yeah, look at that. We can just kind of continue all this over. Um, in fact, I probably don't even have to worry about this spot because I'm going to make this a, um, what's it called? Rocks. Um, I'm going to, oh, good night. I'm going to make this rocks uh, on either side. So we probably don't even have to worry about covering that up, but that looks fantastic. Okay, cool. Awesome, I love it when things work out. It's very rare, but when it does, it makes me very happy. <laughs> it makes me very happy indeed. Ooh, that didn't work out. Go back. Didn't make it quite as close as I wanted it to. There we go. Great, we won't worry about that. What is happening over here? Quarantine passed, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get our African elephants in just in time too. This is only going to be about a 30 minute episode. So we have mm, five minutes left or so. Where am I? Here we are. Let's go ahead and make sure the keepers. Ooh, that's what we should do, right? We should bring a keeper here and here and then wait, don't run away because I have to pay you less and tell you what your job is. First day on the job, salary decrease and job assignment. Where, oh, it's the same menu, that's right. And we need the elephant zone, thank you. And we need the elephant zone for you too, thank you. And there we go. I wonder if that's, is that a day, a month? If that's a month, that's quite low. If that's a day, man, would I love to make $1,000 a day? That would be That would be pretty fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time real quick and see if we can't, get our elephants over here really quickly. Um, they're probably gonna be coming down this path. Wow, that is a traffic jam if I've ever seen one. No wonder the lemurs were getting stressed. Here they come, dun da da da. Right as the light is, uh, right as the light is rising, right as the sun is rising, right as the light. Oh, uh oh, we're gonna have to fix that. That, <laughs> talk about a traffic jam, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a little, that's a little glitchy. Okay, let's move this. <laughs> let's move this so that our elephants don't have to glitch onto the, uh, onto the rocks. Let's see, does that help? Does that help at all? Hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. You guys are freaking out a little bit. No, get out of this group, select the elephant. Oh, okay, he's fixed himself, that's great. What we need to do, oops, what we need to do is just kind of take this one right here and move it over to the side so that when they come in, they're not like placed on the rocks and they have a little bit more room to move. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check the welfare then uh, so that we can make sure that they're much happier than they are currently would be great. Let's go ahead and uh, long grass too much. They need much more soil, which is great. Awesome. Love it when they want soil because we love this soil right here. Go ahead and get this all around. Too much long grass, too little, oh, now there's too much soil. I went overboard, sorry. I went a little overboard. Too much soil, get rid of that. Okay, fantastic, that's awesome. Oh, really? Your traversable space is that little? We might actually have to expand this. Oh, they can't go under here. They're a little bit too big. Okay, that's easy, that's an easy fix. Let's go ahead and raise this up. Let's see, can they go under there now? They definitely aren't gonna fit in there. Look at that big guy, man. I did not realize, I knew African elephants were much bigger than Indian elephants, but I didn't realize how much bigger. Okay, now they can go under there. Still too small, but at least they have hard shelter. Uh, I know your social group is too little. You need some more ladies and I'm working on it, but uh, I'm poor and you have to wait. <laughs> 
that's just the reality of that. Let's go ahead and look at some species, African elephant. Go ahead and get you some enrichment so that you're not too unhappy. It's gonna be a super bare bones habitat, guys, while we uh, get this first started, but at least we're gonna have a new animal. What, 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 hold on. What is with the protesters? Oh, your welfare? You didn't even give me like two seconds to figure it out. Um, okay, that was food, food, and food that I just placed. So now let's get some toys. Let's get this toy in here and maybe the little rubbing one over here. This will all look so much better, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. Okay, that takes care of enrichment, but then their social group and their space. So we probably have to expand the space right away otherwise we are going to have continually unhappy elephants so let's go ahead and expand it back this way i think is the best option for us and maybe just maybe we we will do an extra viewing area i wasn't going to but if they uh if they need the extra space then we might we might have to. Let's go ahead and just swing this around, bring it over, and we'll kind of just connect it, connect it back in over here. I don't, this will probably not be like absolutely enough space, but this should help, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these and then go to the barrier and kind of drag this out so that we can see how much room they actually have. Um, let's go ahead and bring this over here and this one over there is probably a better way to do this, but I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> uh, bring this over here. Give you guys all the space. Actually, let's add a thing in here. There we go. And that way we can expand that out. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's see. Does that make you a little bit happier? I sure hope so. How much space? Calculating. Okay. We're at the bare minimum. Awesome. Now we're all in the green. We shouldn't have protesters. They're probably making their way over here because they're gonna march their little butts over here just so they can see that the African elephants are happy and then march all the way back through, causing a ruckus the entire way. Oh no! Oh, I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one at all. Our poor little meerkat. Ugh, we got a really awesome baby black jaguar. Uh, and then we lost two animals, I guess. Circle of life, huh? Circle of life. All right. Um, why don't we do, before I forget as well, last, very last thing here is let's go ahead and put down some education boards. It currently looks like the guests can just run right into the habitat, but we're going to ignore that. We're going to have really good guests and they're not going to run right into the habitat. Uh, they're going to stay on the path. <laughs> uh, at least that's the idea. And let's go ahead and get, actually, are some of these ones? Yeah, so I like the black bins right here. Oops, that was the wrong button. I want to duplicate it, please. Get some of these and some of these over there. Beautiful, awesome. And then let's go ahead and assign it. This should all be covered by power and water because of the power and water facilities that are here and over there, but let's double check great. It's under underwater. <laughs> the water is covered and the power is covered. Beautiful. All right, guys. So really, really quick, easy as he's pooping and sending us off. <laughs> what a way to end the ha What a way to end the episode. Sorry, not the habitat. Uh, we started with a baby jaguar. We ended with some massive ele elephant poop. Uh, no better way. So I apologize. I know this was like a super quick, easy episode here, but at least we've got our new elephants in. We actually don't have too many uh, issues over on the left-hand side there as far as uh, stuff popping up. But let me know what you think about the African elephant habitat. Let me know what you think about where the zoo is going, all that fun stuff. And again, just one last reminder, uh, we do have another video coming out probably in about 30 minutes from now. It comes out at 9 a.m. if you're watching this when it first goes live. Uh, a Sims build with the cottage living. I'd appreciate a watch, a like, a comment as always because you guys are fantastic and I will talk at you guys in the next episode. Bye!